Welcome back my fellow music lovers and listeners. Welcome back to Multifaceted Media Entertainment. And today we got a brand new video for you guys. And today is Sunday, so you know I got to do another weekly track recap and this is where I go over all the tracks that came out over the past week. Then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on every single one of them and at the end of the video I'm going to tell you which is the favorite, well, which is my favorite track of all the releases that came out over the past week. So without further ado, you know how we do. Let's get into the video. All right, so the first track I want to talk about is this new one by Ari Lennox and it's called Pressure. And this track is great. It's sexy, it's groovy, it's explicit when it needs to be. It uh, has a pretty groovy instrumental behind it. Ari Lennox rides the beat quite well with some pretty nice vocals on top of it. It does kind of have a throwback vibe to it as well. But overall pretty great track and I definitely recommend this one. Alright so next up we have this new track by Maxo Cream featuring Tyler the Creator and it's called Big Persona. And I think Tyler kicks off the track quite well. Loved the energy he was bringing to the track here. Kind of a throwback to his early wolf days. But I do think that Maxo Cream kind of failed to match the energy that Tyler was bringing to the track in the beginning. It was definitely not a bad verse and it did grow on me as the track progressed. But I just think at the beginning he kind of failed to match the intensity that he was bringing to the table here. But yeah, overall still a pretty solid track. Uh, great beat as well. So I definitely still recommend giving this one a listen. Also enjoying this new one by Lana Del Rey called Arcadia. The instrumental is minimalistic, the singing is subdued, but I think it sounds quite well. She did have some questionable lyrics on the track though, like the trace with your fingertips like a Toyota line, like what? But yeah, overall a pretty solid track in my opinion and I'm excited to hear what she'll be bringing to us in the full album. Alright, so next up we have this new one by Chloe Bailey and it's called Have Mercy. And this one is kind of a bop, it's kind of a banger. Uh, it doesn't have the greatest beat in the world, but I especially did enjoy when the kind of angelic vocal harmonies kind of emerged underneath the chorus, serving as kind of an extra layer of dynamic to the track. But yeah, overall I thought this track was pretty fun, just your typical female dominance anthem. All right, so next up we have this new track by Da Baby featuring Lil Wayne and it's called Lonely. And honestly, this track is just, it's not that good. I thought the beat was pretty bad and god damn did I hate that chorus. Jeez. Lil Wayne's verse felt phoned the F in as well. Not a great amount of effort put into that one. Gotta give the baby a little bit of credit for switching up his cadence at least once during the track, uh, which is a rarity at this point. So that's the only compliment I can find here. All right, so next up we have this new track by Mario Judah called Remember Your Name. And <laughs> what the hell is this shit? Oh my God. This track is horribly mixed, it's horribly produced. The beat, the bass is distorted as shit. It's, it <laughs> it's honestly hilarious. The highs are filled with static and it's, it's just unpleasant to listen to. It's really unpleasant to listen to, especially with Mario Judas kind of aggressive vocals on top of all this chaotic mess. Just, it just comes together to form, I, I don't even know what to call it, man. It's, it's really bad. But uh, I'm almost sure this was intentional on Mario's part, so it is what it is. All right, next up we have this new track by Alicia Keys and it's called La La featuring Sway Lee. And this track isn't bad at all. Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't think Sway Lee has the strongest vocal performance in the world, but I do think that it melds with Alicia Keys' vocals quite well. I did enjoy the beat on this track as well. It's groovy and I think it 
creates this sort of atmosphere this kind of warm indoors atmosphere from to be specific but yeah i enjoyed this track i enjoyed it quite a bit and you know alicia always kills it with the vocals so no need to question that next up we have this new track by remy wolf and it's called gorilla And I like this track a lot. It's very fun. Love the beat on this thing. Love the comical lyrics. Loved the delivery on this track as well. Remy has been making some pretty enjoyable music as of late and this is no exception. Alright, so next up we have this new track by 5 Year Foreign and it's called Storytime. And honestly, this track was a pleasant surprise for me. I didn't expect this at all. Uh, 5 Year proceeds to tell this gritty story over a drill type instrumental let me tell a little sad story about this young boy who grew up no pops in the crib that nigga mama working so she couldn't really show no love when he was a kid. and it turned out much better than i would have expected from five year foreign and uh that's all i gotta say all right next up we have this new track by sid featuring smino and it's called the right track Baby, I'm gonna need to trust if we're gonna be in love between you and me and this song is pretty solid. Some okay vocals from Sid. Uh, not sure if I loved the guitar riffs in the instrumental, but it was okay. Smino does come through with a great verse though. Pretty awesome flow as he usually brings to the table. All right, next track, Ed Sheeran, and this one is called Shivers. And this track is absolutely hilarious and not in a good way. I to the heart. I never kissed a mouth that tastes like yours. The cheesy ass lyrics on this track are absolutely nauseating. And that fake ass guitar plucking in the damn instrumental is just so annoying. It's so annoying, bruh. <laughs> but yeah, this track is a nightmare. But I'm sure it will be gobbled up by the mainstream audience. All right, so next up we have this new track by Brady Watt, who I've never heard of before, featuring West Side Gun, uh, DJ Premier on production. Yo, you better pray six times it ain't praise both. Kill you and your mans with the same scope your lanes broke. And this track is called The Narcissist, and I think it's well produced. It's nice, it's groovy. It's a pretty short track, by the way. Uh, just a short verse from West Side Gun, which I did enjoy and uh, especially enjoyed the production on this one. So yeah, this one definitely gets a recommendation from me. Definitely give this one a listen. Also wanna shout out this new track by Freddie Gibbs called Vice Lord Poetry. Uh, did a full video on the channel about this track because he you know, took some shots at Kendrick Lamar on this one as well. So I'll leave a link in the description to where you can watch that video. But yeah, as you can tell by the cover art, this track is a freestyle kind of over the champagne poetry instrumental from Drake's last project. But yeah, pretty dope track and uh, definitely a recommendation from me. All right, last but not least, we have this new track by Russ and it's called Utah Freestyle. <laughs> Let me just update. I've been balancing my chakras in the mountains out in Utah. Yeah, and I enjoyed this one. Some clever bars on this track, a nice, cool, laid back, relaxed flow. Um, a calm, chill beat as well. So yeah, pretty enjoyable one from Russ here. All right, so here lies the conclusion of my weekly track recap. Uh, favorite track of the week, favorite track of the week. I gotta give it to the Alicia Keys and Sway Lee called Lala. But yeah, guys, that does it for my weekly track recap. Were there any significant music releases that came out over the past week that I did not mention in this video? Please let me know in the comment section below. Also hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to keep getting notified whenever a new video drops on the channel. Once again, this has been Multifaceted Media and I'm signing out.